return to the gridiron for the Lahaina Luna football team. It'll be the team's first game since the devastating wildfires, and the Lunas are set to face off against Baldwin at War Memorial Stadium in Wailuku. And there we find HNN's own Chelsea Davis and Kyle Chenan with a preview of tonight's game and the festivities. Hey guys, good morning. Hey, good morning. Uh, yeah, we are at the War Memorial Football Stadium here in Wailuku, where you can see behind us that the gates are still closed, but the hype is well and alive. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is much more than just a football game. This is about resiliency. This is about strength. This is about community and coming together as one. And that is why we are wearing red. I am a proud Baldwin High School alum, and Kyle is a very proud Mililani High yep. School alum. Oahu boy. Yep, but we are wearing red because we are standing in solidarity with Lahaina and after everything that they have gone through, the community has gone through, the team has gone through, that's what it is all about. It is Lahaina strong, that is what my shirt says. Maui strong, it is Hawaii strong. High school memories from homecoming. Art Filizar is the current Lahaina Luna High School Foundation Executive Director, and he was the student activities coordinator at the school for 30 years. He's not a Lahaina native, but he's part of the family. That mana spirit is something that I acquired and I learned about and felt it uh, after my first year. And I coined the phrase pride in spirit number one since 1831. So that historical value of 1831 is so embedded. <laughs> It could be the players. It could be the band. It could be the fans. Whatever it is, those who are a part of the Lahaina Luna High School Ohana say they take pride in being the most school spirited since 1831. And that's why graduating classes dating back to 1980 have designed special spirit banners to cheer on the team and the community. They will be placed all along War Memorial Stadium during Saturday's game. And Iolani School has donated red and white pom-poms for all the fans. It's gonna be rocking. It's gonna be rocking. I think everybody, including Bob, will probably be cheering for the Lunas. I think the whole world will be cheering for the Lunas. He says this is much bigger than a high school football game. It's a symbol of hope a demonstration of an entire community coming together and showing the world the true meaning of aloha. And I'm ever so proud. I mean, I could choke up and cry right in front of you, but, but I, I really love it. So all of you Lunas, you got it. Enthusiasm is contagious. And there we go. Enthusiasm is contagious. Mm -hmm. And our very own Kyle Chenen has flown over from yep. Oahu to cover the big game. Yep. You know, Kyle, you've been with these boys. What does this game mean to the team? You know, this game is going to be emotional. I think that's an understatement at this point about how much emotion will be running through this team. They are practicing in Kihei, their temporary home field. And obviously it's not the same, but they're still practicing and they're set to take on the Bears here at War Memorial. Stadium tonight. The team told me that the last two months have been an absolute roller coaster. You know, after the fires, didn't have a town, a school to go to. So football was kind of the furthest thing on their minds. But once they were cleared to play, they wanted to go. The team telling me that they pushed themselves harder than they didn't, they, than they even thought possible. Um, they wanted to show the strength and resiliency, like we keep talking about, the strength and resiliency of Lahaina. Uh, it's going to be. I mean, probably the most, you know, uh, being able to represent our community and what it, set, what it stood for. We're just trying to play our hearts out and play for everyone that has been through the fire. Once the alma mater starts playing, you know, there's not going to be too much dry eyes in the, in the crowd and on the field. It's going to be a chicken skin moment for sure, Chels. And, you know, the coaches even told me that they didn't let, off, let up on them either, you know, despite the circumstances. They were coaching them just as hard and just as tough as they always have season after season. And, you know, coming back out here live, I, I cannot wait for this game. I know the stadium, the parking lot is empty, but 
Come game time, 4.30, 7 o'clock, JV Varsity, this place is going to be packed to the gills. Yes, mm -hmm. and it is sold out. People who were trying to get tickets told me that it sold out within 17 minutes. So that just explains how excited everyone is to come together, to be as one, and to cheer on each other, really. Yeah, Back to you guys. Uh, guys, I want to ask you real quickly here, because I know a lot of attention's on Lahaina Luna, but you know that Baldwin's going to bring it just because they want to honor that. They don't want to, you know, just let, you know, Lahaina Luna run all over them. So it's it's going to be really a lot of tension tonight. <laughs> Aloha, but there's still that tension of it's the game, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, even the Lahaina coaches were telling me they've been walking that fine line of, yes, all the emotions, all the things that have come because of this, but also at the same time, they want to play their brand of football. They want to play a legit football game, and they're not going to take Baldwin lightly. Like, sorry, Chelsea, I know you're an alum, but they are a winless football <laughs> team so far this season, and it doesn't matter. Those are those type of trap games that they can that they can get slipped up on, but it's going to be an exciting one because we have a feisty Baldwin team and a hungry Lahaina team. Oh, it's going to be a good game. Thank you so much, guys, for all that wonderful reporting. Chicken skin, as they say. Our couch and then Chelsea Davis over on Maui. Take care, guys.